welcome to the podcast for when the curves line up for October 9, 2023. Please see the article that includes diagrams of today's events on the website at whenthecurveslineup.com. Text by Jeffrey L. Hunt. In Chicago, sunrise occurs at 6.56 a.m. Central Daylight Time followed by sunset at 6.19 p.m. The moon's shadow races across the Western Hemisphere on October 14. Sky watchers along a track from Oregon to the Gulf of Mexico and again at the Yucatan Peninsula see an annular or ring eclipse, popularly called a ring of fire. The moon does not appear large enough to cover the sun and a ring or annulus of the sun surrounds the moon. Sky watchers outside the eclipse experience a partial eclipse. From Flagstaff, Arizona, 85% of the sun is covered at 9.30 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Here is today's planet forecast. In the morning sky. Step outside an hour before sunrise, brilliant Venus, the crescent moon, and Regulus are in the eastern sky. This morning Venus passes Regulus. They are 2.3 degrees apart. Venus is to the lower right of the star. Each morning hereafter the gap between them grows. This morning, the crescent moon, 23% illuminated, is 13.7 degrees to the upper left of the morning star. Look for Earth shine between the moon's cusps or horns. This is from sunlight reflecting from Earth's oceans, clouds, and land. Tomorrow morning the moon gathers with Venus and Regulus in a pretty display that snugly fits into the same binocular field of view. Regulus is the brightest star in Leo, a westward-facing lion. The head is made by the sickle of Leo that has the appearance of a backwards question mark. The haunches and tail, named Denebola, are made by a triangle to the lower left of the sickle. Venus is nearing the dates when it has the largest interval of rising time compared to sunrise. This morning it rises 3 hours, 48 minutes before the sun. By month's end it gains another 8 minutes of rising time and sustains this rising interval through November 6th. Farther westward, bright Jupiter is less than halfway up in the west-southwest sky. The bright planet continues to retrograde in front of Aries, 12.7 degrees to the left of Hamel, the ram's brightest star, and 11.2 degrees to the upper right of Menkar. Notice the Pleiades, less than 20 degrees above the Jovian giant. Mercury retreats into bright morning twilight, rising only 42 minutes before the sun. It is very bright, but awash in bright pre-dawn twilight when it would be visible higher above the eastern horizon. In the evening sky, Mars is not visible, setting about 30 minutes after the sun. One hour after sundown, Saturn is over 25 degrees above the southeast horizon. It retrogrades in Aquarius, 7.2 degrees to the left of Deneb Alchdi, Capricornus tail. Look for foam a lot the mouth of the southern fish, over 5 degrees above the horizon and 20 degrees below Saturn. As the will of night turns westward, Saturn is south less than 4 hours after sundown. Tomorrow, the planet sets as Venus rises. They are at opposition. After tomorrow, Saturn sets before Venus rises. The current planet-to-planet -planet opposition has been hampered by haze at the horizon. Because Saturn is not exceptionally bright, like Venus or Jupiter, the planet is blurred, reddened, and dimmed before it sets. This effect can be seen easily with the Sun and Moon. Jupiter rises 72 minutes after the Sun. By 3 hours after nightfall, it is 20 degrees up in the east. As the calendar day ends, it is halfway up in the east-southeast. Tomorrow, during morning twilight, it is in the west-southwest. Thank you for listening. Please read the articles at whenthecurveslineup.com.